Good afternoon. This is Tina. <laughs> you know what happened? I did this again. Yesterday, uh, it happened once. Today, this is the first time it happened. I forgot to press the recording button. And after I finish, I couldn't see my video. I was think I was shocked. Okay, so I have to redo everything for this video. Probably the last this video last uh, almost I think more than ten minutes. So I have to do again. <sighs> so let's start. Uh, this video is about to query an array. Uh, if you if you uh, have a document and uh, some fields, the value is an array type, and you want to do the query against that, how would you do? Okay. Okay. So now uh, I have a inventory collection, and which has the documents like this. Okay. I have item. Uh, quantity and tags and uh, dimension in centimeters. The tags uh, contains two. Uh, yeah, uh, the tags is an array type. Okay, the value. Suppose you want to search. Okay, you have many ways to do that. It has uh, several ways to do that, but for different queries you want to wrote. The first one I want to show you is to do the exactly the ma uh, match, which means uh, including the order. Okay, so inventory dot find, and I will do exactly match. The syntax is uh, the same as Alice. You give the fields you want to do the array, and I give red and uh, blank. This will only return one document. Here, this is all our document, right? But this one will return only one document because it will check, because it will check, it will return all the documents. Your tag fields only contains two elements, red and blank. And uh, the order must be the red first, blank the second. See here? Only return one because uh, this is all the documents, right? The first one, the order doesn't match. The second one match. The third one doesn't match because it contains another element, plan, and also the blank, uh, red. This one doesn't match because of the order. This one doesn't have. This one doesn't contains. It only contains red. This one only contains the blank. So if you do like this way, it will do exactly the match and also including the uh, order, okay? And sometimes you want to know, I want to find all the tags if it contains the red, how would you do, right? I don't care about others, just that if you have a red, this element, then I should return. I don't care about how many others you contain. And how to do that? You just give the value red here, okay? Then it will search if in this tax array do you have red. If you have red, it's gonna return. Take a look at this one have red, this one have red, this one, this one, this one have red, okay? And the others uh, don't have red, like a blank and a blue, they don't have red, so not returned. And uh, you might be wondering if I want to, uh, the first case, right? It will also care about the order. I don't care about order. I just want to find the tags which contains uh, two elements, not uh, only one. I want to have two elements, red and blank. What should we do? You want to contain two elements. If we do like this way, right? Like uh, the first version we did, it won't work. Instead, you can have uh, two ways to solve the problem. The first way is using all. Still with tags, and we're using another one called all. And here we give red, and here we give blank. It means it will return all the documents if the value of a tax, this field contains red and blank, contains red and blank, doesn't care about the order, doesn't care if you have a more element, but you must have red and blank. Take a look at this one, the order doesn't matter, right? 
the ordinal diamond. And this one, it contains other element that matter. I only care if you have red and blank, the two elements. And for doing this one, we have another way to do that. Inventory. Dot find. And do you remember the end syntax? End. Okay, we can use in this way. You can give more lots of condition, right? So I will do is tax has the value red, it has the value red, and tags has the value blank. Yeah, yeah sorry. Like, like this way. It will return the same result as we did in this one. Because and means this one means any tag contains a red element, any tag contains blank, but it will match both of the condition, right? So see, take a, take a look at this one. The result is the same. This one is one, two, three, four. This one is also one, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, this is this case. And uh, suppose sometimes you want to have this uh, 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 requirement. I want to use all. It contains the red or blank. Okay. How would you do? Previously, we we're using and to match all of them, right? And this one, we're using in which means the tax contains either red or blank. Then I'm going to return. OK, see here, this one, either red and blank. OK, the same thing for using and. We just change and to using all. OK, either contains red or contains a blank. Just still, it's going to return six document. This one is also six. This one is also six, the same, OK? So you choose uh, either way you like, OK, and uh, uh, to fulfill your requirement. <coughs> and also, to do an array, we can also query based on particular element. Suppose here in our document, we have one another field, which is a dimension, right, which only contains uh, two element, which is width and uh, length and the width, OK? And uh, <clears throat> what we can do is suppose I want to find all the documents, which the first element, OK, which the first element inside this dim cm is greater than uh, 20. OK, how would you do that? Dot find. So still, which field? The field is a dim and a cm. And a which element? OK, the first one or second one? The first one using 0. And then you give a condition. What kind of condition? Greater than 20. OK, we just do like this way. OK, then we only has one. Suppose you want to be less than 20, just using less than 20. Yo, sorry. <coughs> So it's going to return all the element, which is less than 20. You can uh, suppose you want to do for the first element, a uh, second element, which is index. This is index. Index start with 0, OK? It's going to be the same, OK? Like less than 20. This one is less than 20, OK? Uh, that's it for the query against the array. And uh, just to give a little bit more practice, and uh, you're going to be uh, familiar with the how to do that in the array. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. See you uh, next time. Bye bye.